What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about um, heavy weights versus high reps. Check it out. Go dummy, go beast, oh no. I go beast. Go deep, I OG, oh no. I OG. Apply pressure, put heat, oh no. Put that heat. Five, zero, zero degrees, oh no. Five hundred degrees. Go dummy, go beast, oh no. I go beast. Go deep, I OG, oh no. Okay, I get this question a lot from clients and from people in general, uh, and I see that online, you know, it comes up a lot. And that question is, should you be training with heavy weights or should you be doing higher reps? So essentially lighter weights, high reps. Okay, so let's start with heavy weights. There is definitely benefit to training with heavy weights, and ultimately that just comes down to strength and mass. So the obsession with heavy weights is, again, if you are trying to build uh, strength, right? Or if you're like, again, you're doing it for like bodybuilding or aesthetics and you wanna build mass, then there is no way around progressive overload, which is heavier weights, progressively getting going up on the weights. And that is gonna give you again, mass and strength. And honestly, when I do heavy days, those are the only two reasons I do that, is if I wanna put a little bit of mass on, but ultimately if I'm just trying to keep my strength up. For me, um, high volume or high reps, I use that because I'm an athlete, okay? So I've said this repeatedly, uh, my training method, I, I, I do what I, I wanna be what I call a martial athlete. So I train in Muay Thai, kickboxing, boxing, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, um, and then I also do strength training um, and cardio fitness. So I have moved more towards a functional training type uh, training method. Functional training in the sense that Whatever, however I'm training, it's functional, all right? Uh, the strength training that I use, make sure that I'm strong in various movements. When you're training heavy, you're primarily just moving, uh, doing comp, like more isolated lifting. Now, there are some compound lifts, bench presses and squats and deadlifts that you can go heavy on and that's usually what I do when I uh, go heavy. But I usually keep it functional, again, just, just moderate weight. There are times that I go lightweight uh, in the sense that I use bands or just my body weight. I do that quite a bit. Uh, again, for what I do for martial arts, I need to be comfortable moving my body around. So I like to use body weight training to ensure that I can, I'm strong in all these different movements. Then I can add resistance bands to make it a little more difficult. Then I move up to some dumbbells and kettlebells. Again, keeping things as functional as possible. I do get a lot of barbell work in, but that is more CrossFit style or Olympic style lifting, snatches, clean and jerks, stuff like that. And then of course, um, I do uh, squats, you know, back squats off a rack, front squats off a rack, um, deadlifts and so forth. But as far as heavy lifting goes, I don't lift heavy. Even when I'm doing a heavy lift, my heavy lift is not very heavy. Uh, considering my size, I, I, I'm almost embarrassed to how, how, how moderate I keep the weight. But because I go light most of the time, moderate for me is heavier than I was doing before. So again, it still gives me that overload uh, in comparison to what I normally do. So I prefer high rep, high volume training. I do a, a lot of CrossFit wads and we're talking now, when we talk high reps, some people are thinking, you know, uh, heavy lifting is two to five reps. And when I say high rep, they're thinking eight to 12. I was talking to someone last night and I said, to, just telling him to kind of uh, adopt some um, high rep training into his strength training. Uh, he's getting ready for a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu tournament and not to focus so much on the heavy lifting because it might hinder him. In his mind and in what I hear online as well is when we say high rep, people say eight to 12 reps. Now. When I do moderate weight, yeah, uh, 10, 12-ish is kind of the rep range. But when I do high volume, I do 20, 16, 20, 35, even 100 reps. And this guy's eyes just kind of blew up because that's, to him, that's just, that doesn't make sense. But for me, again, one other benefit of high volume training or high rep training is muscle stamina. 
not only do I want to stay explosive, you know, and, and, and be athletic, but I also want muscle stamina. A couple times I've had bodybuilders come in to try some striking classes. And I, I specifically remember these two bodybuilders, and, and I'm not lying, they put in the work, man. They had, they had physiques. They were, they were bodybuilders. They looked great. Um, as we were training, I put them on a heavy bag, and neither of them could get through two rounds, two two-minute rounds on a heavy bag. Um, ego set in, and at some point it became excuses about injuries and whatnot. But no, they just generally, or excuse me, they just genuinely could not keep their hands up for more than two minutes to hit a heavy bag. So you, I don't want to get into a big debate about whether bodybuilders are athletes or athletic. Of course, they're athletes. Uh, but I don't want to get into this whole like, how athletic are there? There are plenty of them that are uh, athletic. Okay, but I left that kind of training a long time ago because again, my strength and conditioning is all tailored to increase my martial arts. That is just where I'm at. So if it comes to heavy weights versus high, high reps or high volume, I primarily do high volume at moderate weight, moderate or lightweight. And then I still do heavy days. I throw maybe one heavy day in or I throw a heavy lift in the circuit that I'm doing when I'm doing my functional circuits. Usually, uh, if we do like a CrossFit type wad or, or some kind of like strength conditioning circuit, uh, I, we do what we call accessories. So I'll throw like maybe some, some heavy bicep curls afterwards just to get some accessory training. Because uh, another reason I want to maintain strength is when I'm throwing a barbell up over my head, I need to have strong shoulders for that, uh, strong back. So then, yes, I still throw heavy days in, but it is maybe a third of what I do when it comes to strength and conditioning, and two thirds of the time I'm doing high rep, moderate weight, moderate to lightweight. So that is my take on it. Um, I'm sure that you know there's people who feel the other way, and that's fine, man. I'm not here to like ruffle any feathers, but I just wanted to kind of answer the question. And, and the final answer to the question overall is simple. Intention. What is your intentions? What are your goals? If you are looking to to put on some mass and have a physique or you're more in the bodybuilding space, then yeah, I, you need to go heavier because you, again, progressive overload is really the, the primary way to put mass on or to tear down that muscle and build them up stronger. But if you are an athlete of some type and you're trying to stay athletic and explosive and have the muscle stamina to do whatever athletics you are into, then I would say that a high rep strength training regimen, if you're doing resistance training, it's just, it's just more beneficial overall. Yes, I still believe that you should sprinkle in some heavy days or some heavy lifts, but primarily your, your focus should be really on functional training, which would involve a bit more of high volume, high reps. So there is no wrong answer. It comes down to your, your needs or your wants. And I'm sorry, man, I didn't mean to forget like the power lifters, uh, definitely heavy, heavy lift, right? They're, they're, that's what they do. We're talking one rep, two rep max. I never do a one rep or two rep max. Uh, even on when I go heavy, if I would, in you know, my heavy days, uh, which are even, like I said, I, I'm not super, I don't go super heavy. I keep things pretty moderate. Even on those days, I do a five or six rep um, max. So if I can't lift it five or six times, then I don't, I don't bother. I just don't see the benefit of picking something up one time. But that's just me. It might be for you. Okay, guys. So again, that's my two cents. Uh, trust me. I know there's hundreds, if not thousands of videos online probably on the same question. So feel free to poke around or you may be poked around before you found this video. I appreciate you watching though. Um, but that's just my take given what I do and my intentions. So think about what you want. Think about how you can go about uh, getting it and then just get out there and put in the work. All right, guys. Thank you for watching the video. Please give us some support and some love by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. As always, keep fighting for fit, no excuses, and we'll see you in the next video.